Stephanie is an Australian who has been living in the U.S. for five years now and works in online marketing. She is terrified of three things, public speaking, heights, and camping in the USA. Please welcome Stephanie. I don't think I've been on stage before, so this is even worse. So, um, as you know, I'm from Australia, and one of the things that um, people say to me most often when they find out I'm from Australia is, I've always wanted to go there. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, they have dreams of uh, kangaroos lying around on beaches, oil can fosters, and all of us throwing another shrimp on the bar before you, just <laughs> waiting for you to come over. The second thing that I um, end up hearing is, but what about all the deadly animals? I actually had one guy turn around to me and say, my wife won't let me go to Australia, or we won't go to Australia because my wife is terrified of all the snakes, spiders, sharks, and everything else that Steve Irwin has made popular. Now, having lived in America for five years, I've actually lived in Colorado for three and a half years, and... I sometimes wonder what Americans are on about when they say to me, what about all the deadly animals? So let's have a look at a few stats here. There's 20 million Australians, 320 million Americans. It's about a 1 to 15 ratio in terms of population. Similar sized area. We've got the same type of alp alpine to beautiful tropical beaches. But on average, there are more deaths per year in America from indirectly or directly from animals. The number one killer in America by animal is the deer. So it's an indirect stat, right? So these people hit a deer and they die uh, from car accident. In Australia, we have an abundance of kangaroos, probably about the same as deer, but that only kills about one person per year. Um, the next killer is the humble bumblebee. Um, but with the colonisation of the African uh, bee, the more, it's the more aggressive, more deadly. I'm sure that stat will rise um, further. Now, I do admit that Australia's list of deadly animals is fairly long. We have sharks, spiders. Um, we have stonefish. We have jellyfish. Uh, we have pretty much, you know, top ten deadliest kind of thing. But one of the things that we don't have is we don't have any land-based mammals that will stalk you. <laughs> or, or terrify you when you find their poop in the woods. Um, we don't have the mountain lion. We don't have the bear. We don't have anything like this in Australia. And this is one of the reasons why I'm terrified of camping in America. So... I have to admit that Australia does have the highest shark rate death in the world. Uh, America has the highest shark attack rate, and that's in a town in Florida somewhere. But you guys actually have the lowest death by shark uh, stat in the world. Now, no one's died of a spider bite, spider bite in a century or, or more. Um, in Australia, less than one person dies per year from snake, uh, snake bites. In America, less than five per year. So, you know, we're a little bit more deadly on that range. Now, dingoes have accounted for two deaths in Australia, as far as I can tell. In America, cats, uh, any big cats, wolves or coyotes, account for less than one death per year. Bears, however, account for about three deaths per year in America. Another reason why I won't go camping uh, in the U.S., um, now, crocodiles have increased 12-fold in Australia in the last 30 years. The population is about 200,000 adults in the wild, yet there's less than one, year, one death per year. Uh, alligators kill about two people per year on average. Um, six, 600,000 Americans visit, visited Australia last year Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane being the top ones. And you, unless you go in the water, you're not likely to meet with any of our you know, animals that will kill you. In America, 280 million people visited your national parks. 
this is this includes glacier this includes rocky mountain this includes yellowstone they all have bears they all have mountain lions and then you probably all thought that this was going to be about your crime statistics your gun statistics so here's one gun statistic for you there's a hundred around a hundred hunting deaths per year in america so the only thing that you have to worry about when you visit australia is the drop bears Thank <laughs> you.